Welcome to Vegas Live with Nina. Welcome to Vegas Live with Nina and I'm Nina on your host. I think I did a double take in there or whatever it was. But anyway, of course, when we go live to YouTube, which is what we are doing, we go, actually we're going live to Facebook and we used to go live to YouTube. But sometimes we have little grits in there, little things happen, but that's something we can't help. So hopefully it's going to swing really good today and it really will. I've got Jay with me and Jay actually, how are you, Jay? I'm great. How are you? I'm awesome. You look I, gorgeous I, today. Oh, well, didn't I the other day? You did. <laughs> new color, different. Yeah, Different, yeah, setting. different setting. Yeah, I've got the lights full on me yes. this time. So anyway, you're in the event business. I am. Which has to be, um, I, I often think the event business in Vegas has to be the greatest thing in the entire world. <laughs> If this is your business, it is amazing. You've got so many conventions here, and I always thought there was just one convention hall, but there isn't now. No, there are you, more, multiple. Multiple um, in all the different hotels. Yes. They have their own convention hall, and that to me, because years ago they didn't have that. No. Nope. And um, all of a sudden they all sort of started shooting up, and they, they felt they were missing the dollar. So they said, <laughs> we have the convention in our hotel, we get the gambling, we get the convention, we get everything. Exactly. And then you have all the amenities, which means that a lot of people that come into town don't have to worry about staying at another hotel. They can actually stay in the hotel where the convention is. Exactly. How's it going for you? It's going beautifully. I moved here in 1999, and it's just taken off since I've been here, which is right. wonderful. Right. So you haven't, you've been here, what, 19 years then? Yeah, yeah exactly. That's a, and came in as a performer. Well. It's treated me very well. Now, wait a minute. You're a performer. What I'm a performer, performer as well. Oh, I came in as a go. singer. I was a principal singer in several shows in town. Oh, what shows uh, were they? I was, uh, my first show was called Dancing to the Hits, which was at the Flamingo. Okay. And also at the Las Vegas Hilton. And then I was Billy Flynn in one of the national tours of Chicago. I was principal singer for uh, Boylesque for Kenny oh, Kerr. Oh, how wonderful. And when he moved over to the New Frontier. I didn't, I didn't know anything about because, you know, I don't pre interview my guests, but actually I happened to know Jay. Yeah. Uh, we had a little meeting at one time right. about some business or whatever we were doing, which we, we never really did anything. Did no, we, we didn't. Well, you're not, not yet. I mean, right. you know, maybe this will nail it. I don't know. <laughs> what nails anything in yeah. this town? Um, so, what are you doing now? Now you're doing the event. Why, right. why did you so, come well, out of the entertainment business? I, I've, I've always been an entertainer, but I have my hands in many different pots, so I'm quite the entrepreneur. Is that good? It's a very good thing. Okay. because it keeps you busy even when business is slow I always expand do you have all the different things you do connecting with each other I, I mean, do. do do they so I'm gonna say if they enhance each other then that's a good thing because sometimes yeah. um, people out there in business sometimes think they got they've got to do all these different things well that means they don't do any of them well so if yours intertwine with each other then obviously they're connected they and it's, it's easier for you they do and i would advise anybody out there to do that not to do too many different things because mm -hmm. uh, you can't really concentrate can you not if they're too scattered yes everything's got to find the umbrella yes so you've got to be under the umbrella right. and everything else right. so which is what is really doing well now with you uh right now the interactive murder mysteries which has been going on since 1985. Oh, I forgot about the yes. murder mystery and that so we have one coming up at Lowry's Prime Rib on Friday. Okay. It's called Deception at the Disco. It's all disco music from the 1970s. Is this where you have actors coming in? Yes. But isn't this also uh, where you can pay to come into this thing as a as a non actor of exactly. not known? And you can be either just part of a team trying to figure out who did it. Oh, you could be the or killer. You could, you could be, as if the more interactive you are with us, the better, because we'll play with you. There is a full story that is involved, but everything is played out through improv. So, oh, and since I write Maybe the stories. Maybe I should go down there Friday night. You should. I should. What part, <laughs> I find out what part I'm going to get first before I get down there. We are sold out. We've been at Lowry's for the past 15 years. Oh, fabulous. Here, uh, Lowry's Beverly Hills for 11 years. But we do a That's lot of, the one I went to. Right. Because I used to know the manager there. I forget his name now. Um, but he was the manager of Lowry's, and okay. Lowry's as we call it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it was a, and it was fascinating, these, these sort of mystery stories and things yeah. they do. We're Completely working. interactive from the time yes. you come in. We'll mingle with you and bring you into our storyline. And then scenes take place. If it's a musical, there are songs that unfold. Yes. Then the murder takes place and Inspector takes over and never take over. We were talking a little earlier that I missed my boat when I watched to be a singer. Um, do they have to be true singers? Do they have to have a real good voice? They, they be, don't because they can, some, be, they can pretend they're absolutely. Good. You can talk, sing, and get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> we actually have somebody who won a walk-on 
in the show. Oh! We uh, we actually donated a walk-on position oh, for one of the yeah. benefits in That's town. That's like an extra. Exactly. It's so like she's extra. she's going to be one of my followers. My character is Vinnie Vegas, one of the uh, lounge singers that never quite made it to the, one of the big rooms in town. Okay. So she's one of his followers. So we're going to give her a role as a walk-on, and she's going to come out. This is getting more exciting as we go along. Me. There. Yeah. How long do these things actually last? An hour, two hours? It's about two hours, two to two and a half hours, because we have 128 people, and it's a three-course meeting at Lowry's so it unfolds through the entire event. So actually of course uh, uh, what I remember rightly that they kind of mingle with all the people and Correct. everything else so the people at the table now do you have to get uh, the okay to have those people on your show because is it filmed? No. We it's don't not film filmed. It. Mm -mm. It's not filmed. No. You should start filming. I mean, then you have to get releases from everybody. <laughs> exactly. And that becomes a headache. And then right. you've got children there. That, yeah I, I understand that. So any anybody in the restaurant Actually no, they have to actually purchase a ticket to come see the murder mystery. So we're in the private okay. rooms. Oh, you're in the private room yeah. out there. I know, because yeah. it's, it's really lovely in exactly. there. You're very, he's, he's too so excited <laughs> about this, because it's coming up. Yeah, Organized? It's this Friday. Are you, are you okay? Are you we're, great. we're sold out. You're we sold have a waiting out. list, and we're sold out. We do two shows a year at Lowry's. Okay. It's usually our Valentine's or St. Patrick's show. So which one is this? This is our St. Patrick's show. This is St. Patrick's. The day before St. Patrick's. Yes, because it's coming up, isn't it? Exactly. Weekend, and then yes. our Halloween show is always a big, big It's always show. a big one. So you yeah. have two a year, six months We do apart. there, uh -huh, but we do the casinos for VIP events in okay. Reno, California, and Vegas. Okay. We just expanded into Vancouver, uh, Canada. That's a question. So somebody wants, is seeing the show, hopefully, mm -hmm. and someone's seeing what you do, if and they want to book you. How much roughly does it cost? Well, it depends. It it's based. I'm not it, varies, obviously. Yeah, it's based on how many guests are in attendance, whether or not they want a musical or a non-musical show. So the okay. the prices do vary. But we do private parties, corporate events, private uh, team parties. Say private party for thirty people. Uh, you're looking at depending on if the if we're going to use six or seven of our actors, yes. or whether we're going to use the guests that are coming to okay. play the characters and send out an inspector. Can range anywhere from fifty. 1500 to 3000. Okay, so that's what I just, you know, because I think they're a fabulous thing yeah. to have, you know, something different. Absolutely. Everybody's looking for something different, especially when yeah. you get a lot of these um, corporate people coming in town for, the, co for exactly. the conventions and they want to entertain their people, their special VIP people, and also get them involved and have some fun. You know, it's not always all business, you know. When and the great thing is, we can write in up to five of their guests right into the story, create extra yes. clues for them, which is what we do for the hotels. We put the hosts into the story. Oh, so the lovely. casino hosts go in. Oh. We did uh, a story in Beverly Hills when we first started. It was called The Catered Affair. It was a private party, okay. and the host did not tell their guests that they were coming to a murder mystery. So <laughs> we were... It the people behind the bar and we were serving and one of the scenes was for the chef and the uh, waitress to get into an argument okay. over a good-looking gentleman that comes up to place his order. So gentleman comes up, they start to argue about him and he <laughs> finally just stood there and said, that's okay, I don't want a drink. And he went over to the host and said, where did you find these people? <laughs> And then at the appointed time, she comes down the stairs screaming, Oh my God, he's dead, he's dead. And people are standing there. It's like, oh, Who's dead? Call 911. <laughs> call 911. And then I took over as the inspector, and it just all and fell then into place. And then it all fell into place. Yeah. And how did they perceive all this? Were they at happy first, or, they were like, completely put off. And then. You're talking about detective people dying, right. and you're talking all the wrong things. Exactly. Yeah. But then they completely got into it and had a <laughs> wonderful time. And you never know what you're going to get. We did a corporate event in uh, Ojai, California mm -hmm. for a group that did not tell their guests they were coming to a, an event as well and they were engineers so we thought okay this is either going to sink or swim because engineers depends on their personality can be very dry yeah but they can be very very dry and they gave us their ceo to come up as an extra suspect and he could really be dry and i'm sitting there as the inspector thinking oh, oh my, my gosh goodness. so the first question that came <laughs> to him was are you really a chippendale dancer from his people. <laughs> so I'm thinking, oh God, help this me, is the please. Worst thing. And he didn't drop a beat. He said, no, they didn't like the way I hung around so long. <laughs> So we went right in it. He went right into it, and then another team oh. asked him if he was really Grace Giardelli, because oh. we were doing a story called Death by Chocolate, and he didn't drop a beat and said, only on the weekends. <laughs> I love, see, it's how spontaneous people can be when exactly. they actually, when they kind of realize that something's going on here, so let me put my best foot forward and do the right <laughs> thing if I possibly can. Exactly. And they do. So that, we've got all that going. What yep. else have you got going? So you, you're uh, we do, yep, we do, uh, I'm also an MC, MC so I MC okay. events, I also sing, I just 
just did a show, a Sondheim celebration for his 88th so, birthday. Who? Sondheim, Stephen oh, Sondheim. Really? On Saturday night. Oh, how congratulations. Uh, we're gonna, on the 24th, we'll be at the Starbright Theater doing it again. It's with Bill Fain oh, and Miss oh, really? Productions. This is quite famous, this guy, and I didn't even know, because you know, I, I, I know you know out there, but I'll just to remind you all, I never pre-interview my guests, so I really, you know, as much as I know Jay quite a bit, I didn't know you were doing all these things, yeah. so you are very, very talented. Thank you. It seems like you, um, you kind of rule it and you kind of go and get it. Um, and that's what happens and that's what you've got to do in this town. Absolutely. When I first moved here, I went through the Yellow Pages looking for production companies. Okay. Not knowing that because it's Vegas, production companies can mean ma many things. Oh. So, I mean, the, it was this thick and the entertainment section was this thick. And so it got to a point where I would call people and they'd say, honey, what hotel are you staying in? And I thought, okay, I know what entertainment this is. Oh. I know what production this is. So. Oh, so yeah. it was hanky-panky. It was a little bit of hanky-panky. Well, no, well, hanky, no it, was, it was Vegas. <laughs> That's what Vegas is. Right. So you just, I say, welcome to the United States of Vegas. You yes. have to learn. I have to throw out everything I knew from living in New York and in California yes. and learn the United States of Vegas. And you know something, there's absolutely 100% nothing wrong with what Vegas does here. Not how at they all. do it, what they do, when they do it, because that's what Vegas is. And you just want to learn the way. And if you want to come here and criticize Vegas, uh, uh, uh. It's Don't, a great place. It's a fabulous oh place. It's got whatever you want. I mean, any woman here, um, I'm not talking about an older woman. You can actually go out to any of the casinos or anywhere by yourself and be entertained. Absolutely. And you're, you don't have to be sitting at home. It's got a lot of advantages here. It and does. the weather. Oh my gosh, you can't beat the weather. Can't beat the weather. I tell people that, you know, it's usually six degrees of separation. Vegas, it's one. <laughs> well, that might also be one degree of separation, too. <laughs> Put that in there, because you never know. You never know in this town. That's you got to behave yourself if you want to. No, yeah, that's true. So what have you got coming up? Well, Friday we have the uh, Deception at the Disco at Lowry's. Then the following Saturday I'll be doing Stephen Sondheim's 88th birthday okay. for a reprise. Then off to Vancouver oh, how to lovely. do another murder mystery at the Giggle Dam Theatre. Okay. And, uh, it's a great name. Yeah, the, it's, it is. Theater. They're like a second city group. They're really yeah, fun. Really? Oh, cool day. So they're going to be doing one of my mysteries, oh, and I'll be going out as the oh, inspector. So and uh, some MC work coming up, and uh, again, we just went into Seattle as well. So we have our first show coming up in Seattle. Oh, okay. So it's, it's so just no, great. Just, he's just from, Jesus from Happy Camper. Do so you got a question for me? Yes, someone from Ojai wants to say thank you, and also um, they want to know how to get a hold of you. Okay, oh, so how do they wonderful. get out? So the person you know, oh, hi, thank you so much. This Absolutely. is Jay, you know, the Hello. great guy. Um, anyway, how can they get hold of you? You can either go to the website at atouchofmystery.com or give us a call at 702-497-7936. See, there's a man that is not afraid of giving out his number. That's right. And it's so funny because people say to me, Nina, you know, you've got to keep your number private. I said, i got to keep my number private? <laughs> That's never going to happen. <laughs> I've got one phone number. Right. Do you have one phone I number? I have one phone number. See, when you have one phone number, not only you don't confuse yourself, you don't confuse anybody else out there. That's so right. that, yeah, and you don't. No. I have one phone number, and that says, "No, no, no, you should, you should, you should hide it. I don't know, hide anything. <laughs> not Put at it all. out there. Exactly. So, congratulations, Thank Jay. You. Amazing. Thank you for coming Thank in. Isn't he amazing? Me on. Absolutely wonderful. Thanks. The murder of mystery Ooh, is on. We'll be right, right back.